I think that the music for Bramble is pretty unique in the way that it takes this Swedish traditional folk music and it kind of twists and turns it into this messed up dark world of sound. So the inspiration is obviously Nordic folklore and Swedish folk music. But one of the thoughts and ideas I had early on was that I kind of wanted to make music that sounded like the trolls themselves were kind of playing it. So it's kind of this like detuned, kind of messed up playing. And it's just, you know, it's this kind of weird in-between space of what we're used to and something else, which I think is the world of Bramble. So that was one of the main things that I wanted to kind of create for the, the soundtrack, that kind of troll-like sound of play. When I wrote the main theme for the game, which was one of the first tracks that I made, it was just kind of like a test. I just wanted to try something out. And they just kind of started singing the melody in their office. And that's kind of when I knew that, okay, we're in the right pocket. It gave me the confidence to know that, okay, we kind of we can feel where the game wants to go. So as soon as I heard that first track, I just thought, this is great. This is, uh, yeah, it's, the whole game is going to be great because this one track is great. Since I was using Martin's uh, original couple of tracks as a, a sort of blueprint for, I had to sort of extrapolate what I thought he was going to do because I, I only had a couple of tracks at the start. A lot of the work I've done on the rest of the Bramble soundtrack has sort of been cherry-picked from, from that one track, actually, uh, which I considered to have a, a, a good example of the Bramble sound for me, you know. So what makes Bramble different for me from other games I've worked on is mostly just the sheer size of the game. It's, uh, it's absolutely huge compared to other games I've worked on before. At some point they just had footsteps and then I decided to do some cloth movements so whenever they would move, they would have a little sound of their shirts moving and everything. And since I decided that, that was a detail I was going to go into, um, it just became so huge. It's a lot of custom audio, a lot of unique animations, and everyone needs audio. I mean, there are, there are hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> and uh, the size of the soundtrack too, you know, the game is hours long. And uh, I've tried to fill every minute, you know, along with Martin, the other composer, with it's just um, music all the time. And I tried to reuse as little music as possible, except when it uh, makes sense, like with, with character themes or something, to keep it fresh all the time. And then at some point, I had written so much music that I think my music sort of took its own, uh, took its own way, and Martin's music took its own way. I think they gel pretty well together. There's a part of the game where you come into this um, huge meadow and this um, traditional Swedish song called Den Blomste Tid No Kommer comes on and it's just so beautiful. I've I watched a lot of people on, on YouTube who've, who've played this section of the game and some of them stop there and some of them are almost in tears, you know, hearing it and, and seeing the, the visual, hearing this, uh, this beautiful music. Say so. 